6th of May 2023. In this news flash, I want to talk about Dmitry Medvedev. Over the past, I would say about the past year, Medvedev has turned very hawkish. And the past three months, he has become extremely outspoken and extremely aggressive. I have seen articles where people are saying that the West could be very happy that Putin is in charge because he's a pragmatist. Medvedev, not so much. And my Zatsi stalker has made many wild statements about Russia and the Russian political system and so forth. But he is basically, when it comes to the realities of Russia, he is fairly clueless. He gets his information from CNN and from his favorite Weber, Jake. But in any case, uh, he also once made a story about the fact that Medvedev is not the chairman of the Russian Security Council, but the deputy chairman. Now, I can forgive him for being ignorant. There's a very good reason why Medvedev is the deputy. That allows Putin to send Medvedev to wherever he needs him in the whole Russian system without affecting the Russian Security Council. If he was a chairman, Putin couldn't move him around as he is doing. But let's listen to this post that Medvedev made. The vaunted German pragmatism again, as in 1933, gave a real failure already in the 21st century. It is too expensive for the main dog of the European economy to carefully lick the well-known place of the overseas owner. <laughs> and I had to smile when I read that. But that's the reality. Europe doesn't have independent leaders. They are all puppets of Washington. After the deadly number of sanctions package against Russia, we have to calculate wild losses ourselves. According to the Institute of German Economics, by the end of this year, the total damage from Ukrainian crisis to the German economy could reach $300 billion. This is almost 8% of Germans' total GDP. Arrogantly, with a twisted snout, they abandoned the Russia hydrocarbons, thanks to which their economy could successfully develop. It is not clear how now the German economy, which has turned into a servant of the Amers, Americans, and has severely screwed up by its own morons from the office of the Bundes Chancellor, innocently blinking its eyes explains to its citizens why it failed to maintain both innocence and acquire capital. Funds will flow away for a long time to help businesses that are desperately looking for salvation from the cretinism of their own government. What is the main result of the frantic anti-Russian dance of the Fritz to the Washington tambourine? Putting an end to energy cooperation with Russia, the German government was unable to find a driver for the effective development of its country. The wallets of German citizens are already seriously thin. More than 50% of the population is in favor of the resignation of the cabinet of liver sausage sorts. Now that liver sausage is a reference to the Ukrainian ambassador it was in German that referred to Schultz as a liver sausage. At this rate, Germany will soon lose its political and economic leadership in a united Europe for a long time. And I have spoken about that. The German economy 
was the financial locomotive of the EU. And that is now gone. That cabal sitting in Brussels with all their Russophobia plans and jumping when Washington says jump are now in deep shit. They are running out of money, seriously out of money. And the German economy is collapsing. So I don't know how Brussels is going to finance all their plans. I don't think so. We've already seen now this week there's a hell of a story about the fact that they are taking money from the development fund that was supposed to be financing roads and rails and transport routes through Europe. They're taking money from that fund and they're buying ammunition for Ukraine. To the delight of other Euro grants, France and Britain, this will mean the complete collapse of those political imbeciles who said that the Germans could easily live without Russia. The end of their inglorious careers and perhaps even darker consequences. That's when, according to the law of denial, the dreams of the Fourth Reich and the new Führer will be revived instead of the impotent liver sausage community. Moreover, around Germany, as a still barking but weakening dog, a pack of shrill mongrels has formed, who constantly want to eat. Like Poland and its Baltic rump, and if they do not get fresh food in the form of Ukrainian lands, they will ruthlessly kill their elderly leader. Now, think about Medvedev what you like. Fact is, he is an influential guy in Russia and the West will do well to at least pay attention to the things that he says. But the same as with Putin, when Putin speaks, the West don't listen. And that's a pity. And that's another thing, that zatsy stalker of mine, he always accuses me of being a Putin propagandist. When I say Putin speaks, but the West don't listen. He, in his bemuddled brain, only wants to hear Biden talk, and he wants to hear Ursula talk, and he wants to hear Elensky talk. That's all that he can operate with. He cannot take it that there are other people, leaders in the world, that has got important things to say. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.